November of 1996, a major epoch in the field of human cybernetic relations was reached. It came in the form of a toy designed and marketed by Bandai. The product occupied a strange space made in the Venn diagram of a pet rock, the Beanie Baby, and those novelty noise-making key fobs. Initial designs were varied, but they all focused on a set of guidelines: a small, pocket-sized, egg-shaped device. Emulating the demands of a biological organism, they called it Tamagotchi, an amalgam of the Japanese word for egg and the English word for watch. It didn't take long for the product's popularity to explode. When the craze hit the United States, toy stores couldn't keep them on the shelves. It spawned television shows, movies, video games, plush toys, keychains, spin-offs, and countless copycat products. Look at all this crap. It's important to note that the Tamagotchi wasn't the first virtual pet. That title belongs to things like pets, but it was arguably the most successful one, totally eclipsing any other product of its kind. Just recently, I uncovered my old collection during a move. I thought it might be interesting to check them out again. These things have seen better days. I used to have a lot more, but I took apart most of them in middle school. You can see some of the detritus of my failed surgeries. I've got some newer ones, but I have two originals. One that even works. If you've never played with one, the basic game layout is a dot matrix field capped by four icons at the top and bottom. Pretty simple, powered by two AG13 battery cells. There's a small piezoelectric speaker here to make the beeping noises. If we take apart the main enclosure, we see a relatively simple PCB. Here's a quartz oscillator. I think that's used to provide real-time clock operation. The brain of this device is a microcontroller, but it's hidden under this blob. I figured famed Tamagotchi hacker Natalie Silvanovich might know what it was. She's reverse engineered the Tamagotchi's modern counterpart. She told me it's a custom 4-bit Epson ASIC. An ASIC is an application-specific integrated circuit. Like regular integrated circuits, they feature a dense and varied collection of transistor arrangements called gates. I've heard at the height of production, Bandai moved to secure ASIC manufacturing in such high volumes that it tied up production worldwide. Usually, you could just look up what kind of chip you're dealing with and find all kinds of neat information. However, the architecture and exact functionality of this IC is proprietary. You have to actually burn through this blob with some kind of acid, and then visually determine the arrangement of all the junctions, just like the Tamagotchi brain surgeon Dr. Silvanovich did. I think the Tamagotchi was a remarkable device. It's simple, both in premise and engineering, but it came to represent much more than a simple toy should. There were reports of depression and anxiety among some owners associated to the well-being of their virtual pet. It's kind of human-machine anthropomorphizing, and the responses associated with it have since become known as the Tamagotchi effect. For me, the Tamagotchi was a doorway to the world of electronics. I spent hours acquiring and disassembling them. I modified and destroyed a lot of them. In the end, the Tamagotchi also taught me about responsibility, patience. It was a rewarding video game. I have a biological version of the Tamagotchi now, so while I'm grateful for the practice it gave me, I don't really have the time to play with it. But now that I've found these, I do have some ideas about some cool things I could do with them. But that's all I've got this time. Thanks for watching. So long.